OPT might be. Morning, Carol. Good morning, both. Well, I would have the fish and some dry chips, and then when I'd finished the fish, I would drown my chips in vinegar and a wee oh, bit of salt perfect. so that you could squish them in and then just <laughs> <laughs> absorb it. In fact, I probably have chips with my vinegar rather than the other way around. Well, so you, you sort of mush the chips? Yes, just mush them into all that vinegar so they're soggy and soft. I'm going to try that. That sounds oh, amazing. Delicious. You could just have mashed potato. No, no, it's not the same at all, John. It's the frying. You wouldn't have vinegar with mashed potato. I do <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the truths are coming out this morning. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. This morning, it's a nice start to the day for many parts of the country. We've got some early morning sunshine, as we've got here in the Isle of Wight. And it's not particularly cold either in London at the moment. It's already 18 degrees. 15 in Belfast and 13 in Inverness. Now, what's happening today is we've got this high pressure ridge across us. It's trying to keep these weather fronts at bay. It won't succeed, but what it is doing is weakening them so the rain on them won't be as heavy when they eventually come in. But a lot of dry weather to start with, some mist and murk which will lift across parts of Bristol in through lights of Worcestershire down towards Dorset. And as temperatures rise, we could see one or two showers develop in the east, more especially eastern England, but many of us will miss them. So here comes the weather front, bumping into the high pressure, bringing in cloud and generally light rain. But it will pep up through the afternoon across South Wales and southwest England. Temperatures cooler in the west where we've got the cloud and rain. But if you're in the sunshine further east for any prolonged periods of time, it will feel quite warm. 25 degrees in London. Now, through this evening and overnight, that weather front moves from the west towards the east, taking its cloud and patchy rain. But what you find is a batch of heavier rain will move across the north of Scotland. And we're importing humid air by then, so it's going to be quite an oppressive night. These are the temperatures, 11 to about 16 degrees. So tomorrow we start off still with the weather fronts pushing towards the east. The second one will bring in some more persistent rain across some southern counties. So we start with a lot of cloud, the patchy rain pushing over towards the east. Then here's our second weather front, bringing in heavier rain across the Channel Islands and also southern counties of England. Into the southeast, it might just move a little bit further north than this. And at the same time, the next weather front's coming in across western Scotland and Northern Ireland, bringing showery rain in between some drier and brighter interludes with some sunny spells. And these are our temperatures. As we head on into Friday, well, a lot of dry weather around. Fair bit of sunshine too. Any early cloud in the southeast clearing. But then we'll have the showers across the north and the west. And some of those could be heavy. If anything, in the north, temperatures down a little bit, but still holding up in southern areas. That takes us into the weekend. So at the weekend, we still have this high pressure moving across us. On Saturday, there'll be a weather front coming in across the west. That is likely to bring in some patchy rain once again across parts of Scotland in particular and also Northern Ireland. But for England and for Wales, a largely dry day, a fair bit of sunshine. And once again, some afternoon showers are likely as temperatures rise. As we head on into Sunday, well, very similar weather in actual fact. What we'll have on Sunday is a high pressure in charge. It'll be dry. There will be some sunshine around, some patchy cloud, but a few showers in the northwest. But getting a little bit warmer, John and Sal. Carol, thank you. That's good to know. It really is.